Schools, pharmacies, and pediatric offices will soon be places where kids 5 to 11 can get a tailored dose of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine, assuming federal regulators give the drug final approval. We're very uh, excited to share that the side effect profile for children with these vaccines is not any different or any worse uh, than, it, than we saw in adults. Dr. Patty Manning wants local parents to know Children's Hospital is one of five sites in the country that help test how the COVID vaccine affects kids. Certainly children can have some side effects, but as you've probably heard many times, the side effects from COVID are far more serious and severe and dire than any of the side effects from the vaccine. Manning is among those encouraging parents to get their youngest children vaccinated as soon as final approval is handed down. It's expected early next week from the CDC. I mean, this is just what pediatricians do. We're very familiar. We want to normalize this vaccination. In an effort to normalize the next phase of vaccination, look for local school leaders to offer to host vaccine clinics. And when they request an in-school clinic, we will use one of our four teams to go out and provide those vaccinations. Wherever the location, local health leaders say they'll be ready to help vaccine-reluctant parents and kids learn more about the power of vaccination. I've had many of those conversations with my own patients to say, hey, let's talk about it. Let me tell you what my experience is as a pediatrician who has seen thousands of children um, who've been vaccinated, who are safe and healthy and protected. While school vaccine clinics uh, could be an option for some parents, others who want to get a head start, well, you're encouraged to check with your child's doctor, your local pharmacy as well, to see what their vaccination process will be, will be like for kids age 5 to 11. Reporting live tonight, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5.